All right, folks, earnings season continues, and, and one of the big ones last night was Palantir. Posted pretty good results, and the street loves it, at least for now, okay? I'm going to bring in our friend Keith Fitzgerald. Keith, this is one of your favorite stocks, so congratulations. Um, so is this it? I mean, it looks like now the company is starting to fire on all cylinders. This isn't the, you know, this is good news back to back. It is. But, you know, of course, the story's never over until somebody sings on stage. Wall Street has been bullying the stock for a long time, Charles. They're going to continue to do that because they want to separate the weak money from their hands and accumulate positions. The game is a long way from over. People are still going to have to be patient. There's still a lot to come. But CEO Alex Carp put it bluntly. The demand for what they do is unprecedented. That is a great sign. You know, I, I got caught up uh, watching a lot of his videos last night. I mean, he is a truly uh, interesting interesting character, to say the least. I had a guest yes. on about two weeks ago. We were talking AI. He actually said Palantir is not an artificial intelligence play. How do you, what do you consider it? Boy, I think it is absolutely an AI play because just, you know, to your guest point, and I don't know who that guest was, so forgive me, but if he or she is saying it's not AI, I'd love to know what the definition of AI is because it's built on big data and that company, Palantir, that's all they do. So to me, it's at the very core of what happens next. All right. Speaking of AI, I want to get your thoughts on Google. They've got a major event tomorrow. Uh, listen, they are way behind, even though they have 40,000 engineers, 30,000 AI engineers, they've merged all all their smart people together. I don't know if that's enough time, but would you? the stock's acting pretty good the last 24 hours. Would you expect some kind of news that maybe could propel it, could actually move it up in a sort of AI race? Well, there's two things to think about here. Number one, I agree with your assessment. I think they're in totally reactive mode. Microsoft's move caught Google flat-footed. I expect Google to pull out all the stops, make a dog and pony show the, to, to beat all tomorrow when they come out with that. Wall Street will probably try to take that thing higher. But frankly, I'm looking for a short. I don't mm. think they've got their act together. Everything's copycat, and I'm very leery. I'd rather own Microsoft. All right, you're known for your own quotes, but you shared a quote with investors today, and I want to share it with the audience from Nietzsche. And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who couldn't hear the music. What does that mean for investors? It means that you always want to pay attention to what's happening behind the scenes, because if you can find the music, you can dance. There's counterintuitively, the biggest bullish sentiment is actually when people are the most bearish. Right now, people are arguably quaking in their boots. They're overwhelmingly bearish. That is an inordinately bullish signal in the scheme of things for the right companies. And I'll just underline this, who couldn't hear the music. A lot of times the mavens seem to talk so much and so loud, they can't hear anything else. I got le about 30 seconds. Anything else you're looking at, Keith? There's a little tiny life sciences company called Azenta that I'm starting to get very interested in, but not for reasons people might think. I'm looking at their ability to handle cold storage and sample moves. Many, 20 of 20 of the largest pharma companies use this. I think the company might be poised for move, but full disclosure, I do not own it yet. I've still got to do some research. And the symbol? A Alpha Zulu Tango Alpha, I believe. A-Z-T-A, -A, if I've okay. got my memory right and had enough coffee today. All right, look at you, my man. You bring us these amazing quotes and stocks we never heard of. But we're going to be doing our homework. Keith, thanks a lot, buddy. Hi, it's Keith here. Thanks for checking out today's highlight clip. What'd you think? Did I make sense? Is there something you'd like to add? Make sure you leave a comment down below. And, of course, click subscribe to keep up right here on YouTube or sign up for the email newsletter at the link below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram for my real-time thoughts on markets, analysis, and a whole lot more.